Hey, Badass Business Owners. Today, I want to talk about something that I think a lot of business owners would agree is a problem that they have. And that is the fact that you find yourself working 60, 65, maybe 70 hours a week working in your business where you're sitting there, you're doing the work that needs to be done. Maybe you're providing the service to your customer. Maybe you're making the products that you sell, but whatever the case is, you're spending the vast majority of your time either making the product, providing the service, answering phone calls, doing billing, all this different stuff that you're doing where you're actually working in the business. The problem is you have these grand visions of how you're going to grow the business and take it to the next level and make more money and all these great, wonderful things. If only you had more time. But the problem is you can't find the time in order for you to be able to do it. We call this working in your business versus on your business because working on your business means working on areas that help improve the business. So it might be understanding your business numbers, really finding how to make sure you learn how to read them and then how to dive into them deeper and to see what trends are going on or see what kind of things they're trying to tell you. Working on your business means that you are looking at processes that are broken in your business and you're trying to find ways to improve those processes because you know you're going to be able to help more customers, you're going to be able to make more money, you're going to stop having waste, whatever the case may be. Working on your business looks like the fact that you are trying trying to sit down and come up with a marketing plan or how you're going to grow your business and how you're going to get more customers. And what does that look like? Working on your business is where you sit down and you're training your team and your people. These are things that we're always telling ourselves, man, if I had more time, I would be doing this. If I could just have a couple more hours a week, I would work on this. Those are the things where you know you're working on the business. If you think about it, when you're working in the business, you're being an employee or you're being a manager. You're managing things typically. You're being the employee. You're doing the work, especially because so many of you are single owner operators. You don't have employees. Working on the business is when you're wearing the leadership hat. And that's where you are really thinking about the long-term strategy on how to take the business to the next level. And to be honest with you, in order for you to grow your business, you're going to have to find a way to carve out time to work on the business. But here's the funny thing. It all comes down to time. Time is the most valuable asset that you have because it is your money maker. So you could be doing employee work and in time, what you're doing is you're trading time for dollars, right? You go do a job, they give you $100, you've made that. The difference is when you're working on your business, your time is way more valuable because if you take that same hour where you could have made $100, what should happen is when you're working on your business, now all of a sudden you're making $500, $1,000 because you are creating things that create more sales and more profit because you are fixing those processes that allow you to do a job quicker, faster. You're fixing things that allow you to help more customers, you know, two customers versus one. You're figuring out your route schedules better. You're, you're just really trying to dive into those things. And when you're looking at your numbers, you're trying to say, okay, instead of just going by the seat of my pants, I'm going to really study the things that really drive my business. So instead of me wasting time on these things, I'm going to go spend my time on these things because these lead to even more sales, more profits, et cetera. Whatever the case may be, working on your business is going to create way more money for you. And at the end of the day, I say this all the time, this is a profit game. Yes, you need sales. Yes, sales are very important, but you can have all the sales in the world. And if there's no profit, then you're just working for the sake of working. What you're trying to do is build a business that can make money, even if you're not in there actually doing all kinds of crazy things all of the time. There's nothing saying that you have to work 60, 65 hours a week. The reason that you're working so many hours is either A, because you choose to, or B, because you are growing your business and you can't keep up with anything. So you keep adding more hours. Well, guess what? At some point in time, you're going to run out of hours that you can give. There's only so many hours that you can do. You know, it's funny when you think of it this way. Someone said this one time that if you take the greatest minds, the greatest business leaders, the greatest CEOs and everybody else, they have the same exact 24 hours in a day that you do. And yet they're running these massive big businesses. And your first thought is, yeah, Tammy, that's easy. They have people that can do that work for them. You're right. They do. But keep in mind, 
they didn't have that when they first started. And almost all successful businesses that are just like yours started with somebody working out of the garage, working out of their backyard, working out of some studio somewhere or a home office or whatever the case may be. We all start off doing it that way. Your goal is how do I stop working in the business so much? Now you've heard me talk about the E-Myth Revisited and I'll probably put it up somewhere so that you can see what I'm talking about. It's the number one recommended book where it talks about working in the business versus on the business. And I highly recommend everybody to read it. Uh, it, But if you talk to anybody and you ask them what are their like top three books for business, they'll almost always tell you that book. And the reason that they'll tell you that book is because they'll say that it changed their mindset from just being an employee in their business to actually being a business owner and creating those habits of what they need to do. Now, not all of the book is going to be ready for you today. I think it's one of those books that I think help you along the way, because the first half is definitely going to help you in your business today. The second half talks about how you can set your business up to sale, and most of you aren't in that space. So don't even think you have to read the entire book. If you just focused on the front half of the book, you're going to learn a lot. But I'm not here to sell books. What I'm here to do is to start getting you to change the way that you're thinking about things, your thought process, and asking yourself, What has to be true for me to work on my business versus in my business? How can I carve out an hour a day? How can I carve out 20 minutes a day? Just start small and then grow from there. Yes, in the beginning, you're probably going to have to work a couple extra hours to get the process going. But if you start working on those processes, if you start working on the business, theoretically, you are going to gain back some of your hours because you're going to be running that business a lot smarter than the way you were running it yesterday. And that's really what you want to have happen. So what I want you to do is I want you to start thinking about how you spend your hours today. I want you to really start paying attention to if you work an eight hour day, a 10 hour day, whatever that is, how many of those hours were spent working in the business, doing day-to-day tasks of the business, providing the service, creating the product, whatever the case may be. And then ask yourself, how many hours out of that day was spent working on the business to help improve the business, to take it to the next level? It really starts with first having that conversation with yourself and saying, okay, this is where I'm at. This is where I want to go. And this is what I need to do. That's how I want you looking at it. And then I want you to ask yourself, what's that one thing I can work on right now that's probably going to have a big impact on my business. We want you just to start the habits. Another great book is Atomic Habits. And what's great about that is it talks about the fact that if you just take a little like five minute thing and add it to something else and just do it every day, it will become a new habit for you. And then you can kind of grow. So we don't want you to start saying, okay, I'm going to start right off the shoot doing four or five hours a week working on my business. If you haven't been doing that, that's a hard thing to start doing. All I'm saying is start with 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, a half hour a day. Start something small and then grow that working on your business. Because what will happen is the minute you start seeing change in your business and you start seeing progress and seeing the wins, if you will, that you're getting, I think you're going to find that you're going to take that business to the next level and you're going to want to work on your business a lot more. Uh, Like I said, we all know we need to work on our business. I'm, I'm preaching to the choir when I say you need to work on your business. So that was never my intent today. My intent is just to remind ourselves that we need to stop. And I'll bet you there's some of you guys that have said in the past, oh, I know it. I know it. Why do you keep bringing this up? I keep bringing it up because ask yourself, last time you heard me talk about working in your business or working on your business versus working in your business, ask yourself, did you make any changes? Did you start doing it? And if the answer is no, now you know why I talk about this on a regular basis, because it really is a game changer for you on taking your business to that next level. And if you don't start working on it, you're going to continue to work in it for a very, very long time. And I don't think any of you guys want to wake up with your business five, six, seven, ten 10 years down the road, and you're exactly where you once were before, only now you're working more hours to get even more sales. We want you working smarter, not necessarily harder. All right. So make that commitment to yourself. It's not about making it to me. It's about making it to yourself. Give yourself that 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes a day right now to start working on the business and start working on whether it's your business numbers, trying to understand them more, spending more time training and developing your team, diving into your processes that need to be really revamped and improved. And you don't have to try all of them. Just pick one process. Um, I've talked about that in the past. But whatever the case may be, think about the leadership that you want to have for your business, where you're trying to take it. What's that thing you've been putting off that you know that if you dived into and you start working on it, it's going to be a game changer for you. That's all about working on the business and not necessarily in the business. 
you do plenty of working in the business. I don't need you to work any more hours in the business. I really need you focused on working on the business. And for those of you that know that one of the things you need to work on is your pricing, you might want to check out this video wherever it's at. And uh, this will kind of help you with that pricing piece. I'll see you next time.